Alola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Sandistress83. Welcome back. Welcome to, you know, welcome to The Walking Dead Season 1. We're here because we will actually be playing through the first season. Well... Yeah, we're going to be basically playing through the, at least the first episode for this let's, the first episode, basically. I would love to put them all, though I don't think I can, clearly. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Uh, let's play. I don't play standard. Yep. Oh no, we only have access to this first one. We have episode one, a new day. Let's get playing, guys. This is We're going to be doing this only episode first. This game series adapts to the choices you make to, and the story is tailored by how you play. Okay, so that's Telltale for you, Gus. Telltale Games presents... In association with Skybound Entertainment... The Walking Dead! Season 1. Episode 1. Episode 1. A New Day. Okay, so this is bad. What you do? Huh. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Well, not for me. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. That is true. What did he even possibly do? We got what looks like a 1091 I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Here for making it. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. <sighs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. What is happening? driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Them 
then before long, he starts oh, that was important. the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. <laughs> mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh my god. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Gee. Like he actually believed it himself. It goes to show people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more Watch hilarious out. if I do say so. This other oh, sound. Shit. Talking to oh, you think he's one of them now? Oh, I liked him. Hold on. I'll be right back. Oh shit. Yeah. Thirsty. Ah.
I have a few. That's within the Bible. So I get what you mean. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Sorry about that. I'm just in shock after what I just saw. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Whoa. What's that? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. And, uh. I need to drag myself out that window. Hold on, can I get my, my handcuffs? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'll have to climb out, I guess, to get the weapon. What has happened? Ooh. 
That does not look good. Poor man. Look around. I'll take that. But it would come in handy. Cuffs off. Oh, hey, a shell. Now we can take the gun. Hey, can you take it? Looks empty. But I got the bullet! It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. These cuffs off. Wait, what? Officer? God damn. Officer? Yeah, he looks bad. Oh, this guy looks bad. I am so sorry this happened to you, sir. Shit! What the? <sighs> oh, she is not okay. Let's try again. Well, I'm free. Ish. Oh my god. Poor cop. Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Is Help! It? Go get someone! There's been a shooting! What's happening? Zombies, whoever shot that gun, thank you. Let's see what we can find around here. Hello, anybody? What's lock on the door? I say, well, look inside. I wonder if anybody's home. Okay. I'm gonna have to knock. 
Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? Anyone here? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? intruder or one of them these people might need more help than I do whoa what coloring book that's a nice coloring what you look like look at that bowl of fruit it's fake damn that the ah. Uh... Hello? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise Ooh. we'll be back in time before your spring break. Wait, Clementine. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Okay, so oh my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Wait, is that him? Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. He heard him. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. But I could be. How old, How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. Huh? They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? Hi. I can see you through the window. Hi, Clementine.
think I don't know. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Thank you. What should we do now? We should look for help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Exactly, I'm being wise. If this were my time... Let's go. Stay close to me. Yeah, I got a little friend! No, I got a Stay close. I protect you. Stay close to me, though. You can use some weapons. Hold on. I'm gonna look around. I'll go open the gate. Uh, uh, oh man! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What the heck was that? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. They won't. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Trust him. Is this guy Lee, I think? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. What is going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Is I'm it? not a dad. Um, just her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Right. What do you want to do? I... Your monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Right. Keep them covered. Come on. Just a little more. Babysitters go. I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Yeah. They owe me a tip. They owe me more than a tip. Oh. Thanks for the ride, guys. It's not like there's gonna be zombies coming out from the farm. And stop doing this stuff, guys. It's annoying me. Oh, no. Actually, that's a nice farm. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Later, Sean. I mean, whatever your name is, I don't care about you. I mean, I little do. Thank God.
out you're okay. Are you? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't <laughs> nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You sister? take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Ooh! It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Oh? You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Poor girl. Uh, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people. Walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Yeah, I don't want to get shot. and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. I don't trust him. All right, then. Who are the people in the barn? Oh, there they are. It smells like... Shit. Shit. Ugh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I know. We're adults in this world. I miss my mom and dad. We all know. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Don't worry. guy. Wait, did he kill his wife? Hey, get up. Who are you? 
Well, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. What? We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way. Macon, Macon. Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. That is true. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck oh, and I will hop kid. to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Take care, Clement. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'll go to work. Actually, no, no. I want to talk to them first. Seems like those two are getting along. Yeah. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Hold on. Katya's good with her. Katya. Hold on. Oh, I guess I gotta go over here. You ready? Hey, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Oh, I can? Sweet. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh! Damn. No oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My mom, my parents are in Macon with my brother. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. I should check on the kid. I don't know. Look at look at Fen. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay, dokie. Time to check on. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, kid. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Poor kid. I don't hope he. I hope he doesn't die. It would suck if the kid died. I don't know why. Oh yeah, because he's a kid. Kids are awesome. Guys, if you have kids, they're lucky. I guess you're not also not lucky. I guess I don't know. Okay. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey. Hey hand? there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? 
Need any help? No, I think I got it. Aww. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Never know. Later. See ya. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore. What the hell? Oh, Pokemon's doing their thing. I guess I gotta go in the barn? Oh, hey, crop. Hey, mate, you need a hand? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I right. was dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No, I no wife. I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You yeah. just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. But it's true. Go! I'll get my gun! Whoa! Sorry, Kit Man, Sean. You've got 
got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, I'll take it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Yeah. Wait, are we teaming up with these guys? Welcome to drug. <laughs> Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Why? Have fun, guys. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Hey. Worse. They could let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. Yeah. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. Exactly. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet just you go. would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God Damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Wait, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. What? Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Sit upsetting down is row. getting eaten alive. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> You in one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your deal little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch him.
touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Thank you. you okay? Just great, thanks. Ooh. Please don't die. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's awesome. probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Okay. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. I hope you know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good Lily eye on Larry. him. Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Right. Let me look around. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. around with there a radio i can't get it to work though here let me have a look yeah y'all flip it over battery there are no batteries in this thing what now you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah of course i mean yeah no i can try to find some needs two Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Right. Let's go look for some batteries. Clementine, you okay? I'll take an energy bar. That could come in handy. An ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Huh. How, uh, interesting. Oh, I'll take another energy bar. Energy bars. Is there an office? 
Time for energy bar. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I'll look around. Alive inside. Here we go. Can the child please stay with them? find something in here. First aid. Yes. Take that photo. Who are these people? Oh, it's them. Wait, that's your family? Yeah, why don't you take it? Find anything? A family. Just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Huh? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. What? Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. What was her name? Carly? Yeah, I trust in Carly. Ah! What's this? Oh, look at this. I'll move the desk. Oh yeah, weapon. That could work. Actually, what was that? What is What's that? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Exactly. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. <laughs> yeah. Go, dads! I love dads. Dads are awesome. What's this? We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. No. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? You know what? Sure. Go ahead, child. Here we go. Watch oh, your free. fingers in the drawers. Hey, how, are you doing? how are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Aw. Okay, here we go. She's a very positive thinker. <sighs> We need Clementine in our lives, you know? Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom 
mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Oh, that's actually very good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Really? Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. That's actually crazy. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Maybe one day I'll tell you. <sighs> Ooh. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? They're dead. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble from it. You know what? I, uh... I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? He and it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Poor guy. I think we can learn more about these Ow! guys. Ooh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Yeah, let's look. Look your look, I'll let's find your bandage. Let's let the babysitter find something. Wait, open the drawer. What's this? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Maybe we could use that. Okay. Oh, hey, first aid kit. Let's see what's inside. Why don't you take the kit with you? Hey, a band-aid. Let's heal you. Let's heal you up. Here you go, little lady. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah. This is a good man. I like Let's him. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. And she's polite. Clementine, can you please be my daughter in ten years? Aww, that's a good bond. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find out. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? What a responsible man. Uh, let's check around here. See what else we can find. What's this? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. But what if I... What's this? TV. Let's turn it on. That's what I figured. Aww. Well, I mean, well, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye, guys.